welcome back guys and gals. Maddie and Wanda back again. We got Nick and Bo with me this weekend. Oh, look at these handsome guys. <laughs> Original plan of going up Coral Creek this weekend is kind of not going to happen due to some pretty high water levels. So let's go hiking to Pinto Lake. Four days, less than favorable forecast, but so far so good. Uh, we got here to Entry Creek. This is kind of our, we always end up here for a break every time we come in on the Klein River. But uh, literally right before we got to this campsite actually, um, we bumped into the guys from uh, Canadian Travel Mongers, which I thought was pretty sweet. Been uh, chatting with them back and forth on YouTube a little bit. So it's kind of cool to, you know, bump into them on trail. It's always kind of, I don't know, feels like this summer we've been bumping into a lot of the local YouTubers, which is kind of cool. It's pretty sweet, but we are going to enjoy some lunch. Right Bo's delicious banana bread. Special banana bread. <laughs> Very special banana bread. <laughs> Entry Creek is moving pretty good. She's pretty freaking high this time. Wow. Crazy. Someone got here the easy way. We, uh, we made it to Waterfalls Creek. Obviously, we're not the only ones here. It's probably going to be a tour group up at the waterfall, but... We're gonna go hop across the next bridge and go set up camp and then go enjoy the waterfall by ourselves. It's actually the first time I've seen one landed down on one of these spots, but yeah, it's kind of cool. We got camp established. I'm gonna show everybody our tent. I'm gonna show everybody the tent. Wanda's bed. You show everybody Wanda's bed. So we got the tent this trip. So our first trip out with our 3F UL 1.5P little teepee tent here. Should be nice and cozy for us. And uh, not really sure who invited this guy, but I thought uh, <laughs> thought Bo was bringing a giant teepee. Yeah, not this time. He brings this little kid tent. Yeah, a little baby tent for this time. And then Nick's over here. Be no changing standing up on this trip. <laughs> no. Yeah, Bo doesn't know what he's going to do without all that room for activities. The worst places to enjoy dinner, eh? Yeah. Could have did a little better on that. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work for you, Nick? What's up? Does that work for you? Dinner views? Well, definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Shall we take a little stroll over and check out that romantic waterfall? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! So we were here like a month ago. It was about half this size. This is ripping today. That is a crap load of water. Like, last time I was here, I stood on that rock and took a picture. And I walked out to it and did not get my feet wet. Crazy. Crazy how much more water is coming through here than a month ago. She is nuts. Again, Waterfalls Creek does not disappoint. A pretty, pretty sunset here. It, uh, it sucks. Last time when I was here about a month ago with Bo and some of the boys, uh, the water levels were low enough you could actually walk out onto the bigger rock barge in the middle here. But uh, I don't really feel like getting wet feet because it's 10 o'clock right now and I'm getting ready to go to bed. So, and I curled up in bed. And, uh, yeah, I need some sleep. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, Wanda. Do you hear Bo? Is Bo awake? You want to get up? Feels like the red light district in this tent. It's pretty, it's pretty red in here.
Wanda, hey, come here. No, nope. she knows both up. She heard him open this tent. Absolutely gorgeous morning here. Morning, handsome Bo. Did you sleep, buddy? Good. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Actually, like warm last night. Like it was cold when you got away from the fire, but I found as soon as I got in my tent, like it was freaking warmed up. I put on my onesie for bedtime. It is pretty, dude. Not bad. No. Good way to start the day. Yep. And we're going to Pinto Lake today. It makes me very happy. On the cake. This is the real reason Wanda loves coming out hiking with us. Bo has uh, donated the remainder of his breakfast that he couldn't finish and Wanda gets to eat it so she gets a little bit of eggs with her kibble this morning. Lucky girl. And she gets breakfast with a view. Let's hit the trail boys. I'm That's stoked. Right. Going to Pinto Lake today. Pinto. Maddie is happy. What an absolutely gorgeous morning. It's a little cool out. I didn't bring my thermometer with me on this trip, but I would say it's probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 Celsius right now. So it's nice and cool. Absolutely gorgeous out. If memory serves me correct, we hike down that way along the river. We get some pretty banging views for the next bit. So. Currently about six and a half, seven kilometers from Waterfalls Creek. About halfway to Pinto Lake for the day. Still early in the day, it's only 10 o'clock. We left at about 8.30. We're within an hour from the lake, which is pretty sweet. Weather is still holding up. Absolutely sick. This is gorgeous. Like, I've been here a bunch of times and this still stops me. You just gotta enjoy this. It's absolutely sick. in the to year right now because I'm so close to one of my favorite places to be like I absolutely love Pinto Lake and it's oh it's it's so close right now yeah very close it's really deep yeah I started walking and didn't even soak in it's deep so Nick got up to the knees. Oh, there we go. Made it to the Klein Falls here, the feet out of Pinto Lake. This is pretty wicked. He's moving pretty good. Well, there's a registry box here at the boundary for the Waco Wilderness. We were officially the first entry of 2020, so may have been the first people who actually came to the falls in 2020. That's kind of cool. First people to sign the guest like, book here, though. Now it's time to get to Pinto. What about Would you like to go in the lake? You going to go in Pinto? You going go in the lake? There you go. Hey. Are you going to show Bo the lake, Wanda? Oh, he's excited. Your legs are scaring her. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad, hey? Do you believe Wanda has found a spot here? Fire going. A pile of firewood gathered up so far. We might have to gather a little bit more before the end of the night, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm 
make you answer it again. Okay. Now I got the camera on. What's your right. favorite kind of chips? Favorite chips. I like the smoky barbecue. Yeah. There's ketchup. And then yeah, your salt and vinegar Miss Vicky's. Okay, so saying ketchup, what are your thoughts on ketchup Doritos? I haven't tried, tried those. Them. I'm a lady. Dude, ketchup, they're so good. But I'll try them. Lindsay's big on ketchup, but it has to be the old Dutch. Like the ones that like the old school style that come in a cardboard box and there's yeah. two bags inside. Two bags, yeah. Has to be those ones or yeah. she won't eat them. Got to be the old Dutch ketchup. Your kind of chips, Nick. Dorito is nacho cheese. Yeah. Easy. Oh. Yeah. Like the zesty, the like the orange bag? No, just the red one. Oh, regular. Yeah. Yeah, the nacho, yeah. I could open that bag and finish it easy though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Miss Vicky sea salt malt vinegar. Uh, I love Doritos as well. Pretty much any flavor. Um, the zesty nacho is really good, but I love ketchup Doritos or the dill pickle Doritos. Those are really good too. So well, 10 o'clock now, and uh, Juan and I are curled up in bed. We're pretty tired. It was uh, a pretty chill night. We just hung out around the fire, got to chatting. Um, had a couple uh, through hikers doing the GDT come through camp, which was kind of cool to chat with them for a few and. Yeah, it was kind of fun, but other than that, pretty chill night. Didn't really do much, just chilled out around the fire and ate some food and had a good time chatting with some buddies. But me and this one, I'm gonna get some sleep. So we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys and gals. It is uh, so it's six thirty now. <sighs> Why I slept pretty good. I've actually discovered that my sleeping pad has a leak in it. So I get to wake up every two and a half hours and fill it back up. That's awesome. I miss my hammock. Get up. Let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast? Do we get some breakfast? Is it breakfast time? You got a crazy bedhead, my girl. <laughs> you got a crazy bedhead. <laughs> Oh, show all the people you crazy bad head. Don't like it. Don't like it. A bit of a chilly night. Everybody slept good though. Wanda. The fire going this morning. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. <laughs> the lake is still here. That's pretty outstanding. It's a pretty view in the morning. It's one of my favorite places to wake up. I absolutely love this place. And you know what's up? I don't have to dig a hole today. Got camp packed up here. Now we got a fun little crossing first thing in the morning. It should be a good time. Nick is freaking ready to go. A bomb across this thing here. Oh yeah. Wanna you wanna go with Nick? You go, baby. Good girl. You go. Fox uh, Bow and I. Woo! That's cold. I'm awake now. Woo! Oh buddy. Hello, Wanda my girl. That's chilly, hey? That's chilly, baby girl. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel good. Oh, burn! That is pretty. You can see him walking through the meadow here, but just came across a moose. That's pretty sweet. It's been a few years since I've seen a moose on trail. That's cool. This is a pretty banging way to spend the morning hiking here. Hi, Nick. Howdy. Thanks to follow me.
There's a shortage of pretty views on the hike out, but uh, I'm not filming much today. We're actually almost back at Waterfalls Creek. We're going to stop there and have a good lunch break. and I'm going to get some pills into me because my hip is really, really bugging me right now. My right hip started acting up last night just before we got into Pinto Lake. And I'm assuming it's a combination of soggy trails and bogging through mud and muck for a few kilometers and sleeping on a freaking thermos that's leaking. So yeah, not filming a whole lot today. A little, uh, a little grumpy, not gonna lie. Wait another 45 minutes or so till we hit Waterfalls Creek. Stop there, have a good lunch. Fuel up, get some water. And some pills. Definitely some Advil. Maybe a T3, we'll see. This is really bugging me though. It's definitely slowed my pace up quite a bit, I can feel it. So I brought a jar of peanut butter with me on this trip. Mom's like Jif, right? But Wanda is going to get some peanut butter mixed up with her kibble. She's waiting so patiently. Are you ready? No? You wait. Come on. No bugs in your face. Okay. Good girl. Go. Well, that's the end of break time here. I want to take a dip and cool off before we go helps keep her cool when she's hiking so she loves laying in creeks you ready baby you good now feeling good feeling good you gonna get me wet yup thank you not a girl we're gonna shoot for trying to get to Entry Creek. I got uh, a couple Motrin and an Advil in. So I'm really hoping that my hip is good. Feels really good right now. Zero issues at all right now, but hopefully it plays nice the rest of the afternoon. We're gonna try and make about another 10 kilometers to get to Entry Creek. Woo! Last kilometer. So we crossed Entry Creek and we're just making our way to the uh, Big Entry Creek campground right now. Miss Wanda is very lucky. Decided to carry her backpack for her for the last kilometer. We officially rolled over 25 kilometers, which is her longest day on trail. So I figured for the last kilometer in a bit, I'll take her pack for her. Not that the pack's bugging her, I mean, she's been trucking along pretty good, but, you know, gotta do what I can to make sure this is super enjoyable for her. Finally here at Entry Creek, aren't we, Wanda? We were smart and we started grabbing firewood on our hike in, so we got a bunch already. Nice little spot here we're gonna set up, right by the Klein River. Yeah. Let's get camp set up, my girl. You gonna help me build the tent today? So Bo's over there. Wanda and I are here in the cool little 3FUL tent. Nick's over here. Nice cute little spot, hey, my girl? I got my dinner in the uh, Reflectix Koozie Rehydrating. Bo's rocking. Oh, so he's got the lasagna with meat sauce for sure. The cheese is all over. Stop. Is it lasagna with meat sauce? Yeah. I haven't even seen it, but I know what you have. Yeah, the cheese is all over. It's the best. You gotta eat that shit off with your teeth. Yeah, you gotta chew it off. Yeah. It's like the best mountain house one though. That and the chili mac. Yep. Oh yeah. What do you got for dinner tonight, Nick? Actually, I got the exact same thing as Bo. Oh, nice. So, I just realized this actually marks Wanda's longest backpacking trip. Uh, the most she's done with me is three days so far. It's being our third day we're spending another night. So this trip is actually going to be Wanda's longest trip. What do you think? 
Are you excited about that? Make you happy? It is about 9 o'clock and we're all pretty light, so we're all crawling into bed. One of us pretty, just pretty bagged. Two of the O's. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for, uh, for day three of this trip. Hopefully it doesn't rain overnight. We got some dark clouds starting to roll in, so whatever. If it rains overnight, it rains overnight. Just gonna hike out in the morning, so see you guys in the morning. Six thirty. Rained a bit last night, so everything's gonna be wet. But Wanda wants to get up, so I think we're getting up. It's time to get up, baby. You can get up. You can get up, baby. Hmm? You can get up. Some breakfast. Absolutely gorgeous morning here. Everything's a little wet. It rained last night for probably a half hour to an hour, but a gorgeous morning here. Boys all slept good. Get breakfast going. Get some coffee boiled up for. Folks having this hot chocolate. This dude doesn't drink coffee. No, hot chocolate only. No, no coffee for this thing. Not unless there's. No, the only time coffee is camping. Absolutely gorgeous morning for our hike out. Actually, ridiculous weather this whole trip. We were supposed to get three days of thunderstorms and we had about an hour rain last night and it rained while we were gearing up at the trailhead. Other than that, it's been, for the most part, blue skies, which has been pretty sweet. We've been very, very lucky. It's been beautiful. Wanda, can you go behind me? Okay, you can go. It's a lot of training and a lot of trust with my dog that goes into that. I know a lot of you guys, I understand, are very concerned that I'm backpacking with my dog out in grizzly territory and she's off leash all the time. But I can assure you guys, if you guys watch enough of the videos, you guys see Wanda is very well trained and very well behaved. I, uh, I do have a leash with me, it's in my pack. I've got no problem leashing her. When she was younger, first couple backpacking trips I took her on, I had her on leash quite a bit. It uh, took quite a bit of time to build up that trust and training level with her. If any of you guys and gals are thinking about taking your pup out off leash on a backpacking trip, please just make sure they're very well trained. Make sure their recall is on point. So far on this trip, almost every dog that we've passed has been leashed and they've been lunging at the end of their leash wanting to get to her and go say hi. She hasn't had a leash on one second this trip. It went in my backpack at home when I was packing and it hasn't left my backpack. And even with dogs lunging at her, you just tell her to leave it. She leaves it alone. I tell her, okay, you can go say hi. She'll go up and say hello. So just, hopefully that can clarify for those of you guys and gals who have concerns with me hiking with my dog off leash. And I very much appreciate it. Because I do take it very seriously. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fool when it comes to grizzly bear risk. Have my fair share of run-ins. I've been charged a couple times. Bluff charge, thankfully, but uh, it's enough to pucker up the butthole. It's been a nice quick hike out. A really good time. Like an hour and a half to hike out this morning, which is pretty banging. But uh, I think we'll wrap this one here. Gonna enjoy the rest of the hike out with the boys, so 
Nick, thanks for coming out, man. It was a blast, as always. Cheers, Maddie. Thank you. Bucks all bow up at the front. And Wanda. Of course, as always, guys, I am Maddie. Thank you guys so dang much for watching. And we will see you guys on the next one.